Okay, you're gonna go over internal rotation, pails and rails uh, for the shoulder in a sideline position. So I'm gonna lay down. I want the back of my shoulder, I wanna feel the shoulder blade firmly against the floor. Arm to torso angle is about 90 degrees. I'm gonna bend that elbow to about 90 degrees and then turn my hand so it faces in towards my body. Then I'm gonna use that top hand on the back of the wrist, just below that wrist joint on the forearm to push down. And if I need to, I can scoot my hips back a little bit to create a little bit of space for that hand to drop in towards the belly button. Now keeping that shoulder on the ground, we're gonna hold this stretch for about two minutes. Once we've held for two minutes, we're gonna start our pails and rails set from this position. So you're gonna take a deep breath in, Squeeze the feet and knees together, keep that core brace tight, and you're gonna to start to drive that lower hand up into the top arm that's bracing. And so I'm moving my hand up this direction, but I'm using this top hand to brace so it just creates a hold that now I'm gonna ramp up the contraction and the intensity of my effort. So I'm gonna go 20, 40, 60, 80% effort for 10 seconds, three, two, one, I'm gonna release the top hand, reverse the contraction, and start to squeeze my forearm down towards the floor. If you want, you can bring the hand down to the shoulder to make sure that as you push that arm down towards the ground, you're not rolling up off the floor with that shoulder. So you drive down again, 20, 40, 60, and 80% hold for 10 seconds. Three, two, one top hand comes down is gonna hold that stretch position for 30 seconds as you rest between sets.